Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome back to Peyton Ayo TV. I am Peyton Ayo and my hair's out. So you know what that means. Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so for this video, I got this, I don't even know who it's by, but it is a three pack of 100% Brazilian version Remy, which I don't think you can be Brazilian or Remy at the same time, but uh, I could be wrong. Brazilian version Remy human hair, unprocessed, you can bleach it, blah, 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 blah. I got the inches 22, 22, 24, and 26, which I don't even know why I got this long of a length, but I did. They are skinny bundles. I'll tell you that right now. They feel real skinny. Um, but anyway, y'all know I like for my installs to be one pack type install. Okay, so today, sorry, today, like I said, we're going to be doing another quick weave, um, but this time with like minimal leave out. All I'm leaving out is just this and like a little bit of this because them braids really um, freaking snatched my edges away, okay? So I already washed my hair. I also tried to color it a little bit. I really didn't take it too seriously. Um, but I also try to color my hair. It is what it is. But anyway, the only part we're leaving out today is going to be ugh, just the part and then like a little bit of edge. And then y'all know I don't like to glue anything on the nape of my neck anymore or nape of my hair or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, it's because the braids literally took my edges with them. You're probably thinking, oh, sorry, let me just expose them one time. Um, but you're probably thinking, oh, but Peyton, didn't you barely have edges before that? Don't talk to me like that. Don't come to this channel and talk to me like that. Can you, whatever you're doing, can you stop? Okay, take the brush. Anyway, minimal leave out. I'm going to put this stocking cap like exactly where I want it to stop on my head. Meanwhile, hey, 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 stop. That's all glued down. I only did here and here, like I said. Um, I didn't mind, I mean, I didn't bother gluing down that here because I'm gonna lay a track right there. Um, and then the parts by my ear, I'm just kind of tucking them upwards. Now, what I didn't say is that I dyed the hair. I dyed the hair, this is Sienna Brown by a door so this is the hair from the beginning of the video that little boy doing my brush anyway i dyed it so that it has highlights and low lights and hopefully this will be like perfect this is what it looks like starting with the hopefully the longest length i know it's not this it's obviously the shortest between these two which one's the longest this one okay and y'all already know this process we're about to just start gluing these tracks in my first track will sit here and I will keep building it up from there my third track will, is when I'm gonna start coming around here At this point if you've seen any of my other quickly videos you should know the gist of it but not everybody has seen my other videos so we take we measure, we cut, whoa, I almost cut my charger, we cut, we cut, we scissors is just like all over the place, we cut, and we glue in, I feel like at this point, if you have seen my other quickly videos, then you already know, this is about to go quick, also y'all, I am cramping so bad. My period came yesterday. And oh my god, like I went to the gym this morning, damn near died. Literally. 
earlier. And then you lay it exactly where you just measured it from. Putting enough glue to where it goes on, I mean, goes like through it just a bit, but not so much that like too much is getting on my hair. And then I'm only, only, only gluing to the stocking cap. I'm not gluing nowhere else but onto the stocking cap. Not on my hair, not on that. Cute. No, I'm just playing. I'm like, cute. <laughs> Anyway, this is the 26 inches. This is gonna be my second track. Just like that. And then the good thing about this, just like the good thing about like, I ain't gonna say any quick weave, but good thing about using a stocking cap is that when you take it off, hopefully it'll all come off together. And then what you could do is you can add combs or sew it to a more secure stocking cap and reuse it as a as a tea part loop. You know, there's there's pluses and and hi baby. Hi baby. You taking my brush? Brush you hair, brush you hair, brush you hair, brush you hair. I don't plan on putting this in a ponytail or anything like that, so that's the reason why it's fine if not a lot of your hair is out. And then the way you lay it, you should be able to put it like in a low pony, but not like not like a high pony. Don't get ahead of yourself. Anyway, with that first track where I glued. The stocking cap down is where the first track is going to go. I mean, the first wraparound track. Be careful, that's a comb. You can take brush. You can take anything else except my scissors. And leave my toothpaste alone. Don't touch my charger. Hmm? Hmm? Cap? The cap is your head. Anyway, okay. now we're laying the next track, and don't forget, only onto the stocking cap, and I'm angling these tracks upwards. Usually you, well, other people, they go straight horizontal, going at a slight diagonal, just so the hair falls forward, and you don't have to worry about, like, anything really showing. And since we got three bundles, you can go a bit close, just so you can fit everything in. I just need one. Oh, I was still recording. Um, so something I did forget to mention is if you want another layer of protection between the glue and your hair, what I suggest is like in my other videos, giving it a spray with some type of holding spray, like a, a even or got to be, even spritz will do. You just want to make sure you just give it a spray and dry it down completely. That way, I really hope this color looks good on me. I'm not going to lie, every color looks good on me. <laughs> every color looks good on me. Oh, and the hair is about maybe 85% dry. Definitely not completely dry. And I also can tell it's got a lot of, could be from the damage from the bleaching, but it does have some uh, shaft breakage. I think this is like my second to last track for this. And usually the last track is really small, so I'll show you what I do. But first, again, you want to angle it upwards, not going past the stocking cap, going like immediately to it. And then close, like you don't even want a finger in between, I feel like. You want like centimeters in between while still angling upwards because when you pull your hair into the pony or whatever you want to do, you just want to make sure that, you know, you're good. We're still good. So, yeah. And the only reason why I'm repeating this so many times, because I do a lot of quick weave uh, videos, 
it's just always I forget to show, you know, a lot of the process. So this time I really wanted to make sure that I showed the process. I know a lot of people were asking for, I say a lot when it's like two, but I know people were asking for the deep side part tutorial, like more in depth of it. This is kind of it, like it's the same, same process for both. Um, one is just a side and right now I'm doing a middle. So that's the only big difference between the, the two, obviously is where you're parting it, but the work itself is the same. And again, my tracks are pretty close to each other because I have to fit three bundles in. And y'all know I am a one pack girly. Even though this is technically one pack, I'm rambling. With this last one, since it's not long enough to go all the way from ear to ear, it's just gonna sit on top like that. Then I'm going to do the second bundle and I won't come back until um, we get to the last bundle because I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna lay those tracks. So I'm gonna lay them a certain way um, to get a nice full part that won't seem so um, visible. Like you want, I don't want to see that line of track, you know what I mean? And I want the hair to fall a certain way. So I'm just going to be gluing it in that way. But, but anywho, this is, it just fell out of my head. Um, this is what the 26 inches look like all done. Like this. When I press this, Oh, it's going to be magical. It's going to be magical. All right. So I think this color is going to look absolutely stunning on me. Number one. This is what it looks like with both the 26 and the 24. I know those ends are kind of gray. But um, this is what it looks like. I will be cutting in layers, so don't worry about it. But anyway, I'm on to the last one. I took the last track, unraveled it, split it in half. And then here is the middle of those two. And I'm just going to use that um, to color match up these two sides. <sighs> I'm so tired, y'all. My stomach is absolutely killing me. Anyway, so... Yeah, we're just gonna glue this in. Again, angling it upwards. Actually, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a different a different one. Cause the thing is, when this is wrapped up, you know, when I colored it. Anyway, I'm just trying to get a sentence out, but it's not working. Anyway, when I colored it, um, I colored it in the bundle so that it will still have this situation right here, still have roots, so that my hair will blend with the hair. But uh, first, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until I get to here, and then we'll start angling them forward. I'll come back when I get there. I'm almost there. I got like three tracks until we're there. So this one, I'll do another one, um, and then we'll be at the top. Ooh, we'll be at the top. Hold on, I need to. Whew, I'm tired, y'all. All right, so we have made it to the top, that last little track I brought up to where the part is. Now we're going to start going sideways. But first, I wanna take um, this track and I just wanna, you see how it's like circular? I know it kind of looks uneven, don't worry about it. I want to take a track that's going to make them go like be evenly straight. <laughs> It don't make sense once I Debo, be quiet, please. Thank you. Good boy. So I'm gonna take this track. <laughs> and I'm just going to lay it. No, you can't see him, but he is literally stealing right in front of my eyes. There's so much going on. Come here, boy. 
dude i cannot even focus anyway with this little leftover piece i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna glue it right here just to even out the space just a little bit then when i lay that other track it'll be extra even he got some fish shots all right so with this track oh my god with this track like i said we're just trying to make this um nice and even that way i can cut all my pieces to about the same size and yeah something like this yeah something like this perfect now i'm gonna cut this into strips like this and cut then lay then cut then lay then cut then lay then cut then lay then cut is that right um first though i'm gonna cut this off yeah okay so as you can see we're doing an invisible type part which means we're taking small pieces again i will repeat again one on top of another measure cut glue go to the other side measure cut glue i like to do it like that i think that is like the easiest way a lot of people can like pre-cut but i want all of the pieces to fit nicely this is um all the hair that we have left which should be more than enough to glue these all down also i am taking these a little bit only a little bit further than um the cap and i mean probably like half of a millimeter not even i'm barely having it touch my hair only because i want it to be nice and close anyway as you do quick dry till it darkens and then lay it down and try to lay them as straight as you can and press down when it gets closer to hold on my mama calling me Okay, so I always say I'm gonna not say okay, so and I end up saying okay, so 30,000 times. Anyway, I'm just, I'm still doing this measure, cut, repeat, measure, cut, repeat. My stomach is hurting, I need to smoke. Y'all know usually I do my hair when I smoke, but I didn't really have time to do such a thing. So hopefully, and I still got a cut and style, and I kind of want that to be in a video, but it's probably not gonna be. I'm probably just gonna straighten it and move on with my life. So, oh wait, did I measure this side or the other side? I think it was this side. Anyway, keep doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're almost done. I'm gonna do that all the way up until we get right here. And then this track, I'm just gonna do like, like that. All right, so this is my leave outs. Everything's not flat on yet. I did go ahead and cut like the smallish amount of layers and also i cut off those very very see-through ends so now we got under the boot length and i don't know lower back uh that's all i'm gonna be cutting so now going in with my african's best oh like i said i'm just so bloated for my period bother me um and that's mostly going on my hair for when I flat ironed and then I'm rubbing it throughout the hair there's also a heat protector in my head right now now just like I said in the beginning this is not one of them installs where you can like pull your hair back because obviously you're gonna be exposing the situations underneath and this part is like this because I don't want nothing to be pulling at my edges so on both sides yeah, I don't have to explain it again. But yeah, now I'm going to flat iron. I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna do everything else off camera. The only thing that I wanted to do on camera was the install. So the rest is gonna be off camera. All right, I almost cut my skin off. What do you think? Do the color suit me? You're probably being a hater right now and saying, no, it's ugly, your leave out's ugly, everything's ugly. So just give me a second, let me flat iron and I'll come back. Um, I'm outside about to smoke, but I just wanted to show y'all what my hair looks like. 
This is the only light I have right now. So can you accept it? Thank you. But this is what it looks like, all straightened. Um, it was nice and shiny, but I've been throwing it around. Honey, once I get my hair done, I feel like I got a whole new attitude, you know. But that, but that, that's what it looked like. See the highlights? You see the color? You see how it looked good on me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully, it is going to be uploaded. I hope you guys see this. I've been having storage issues, which is something I can talk about another time. Not today. But I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Tune in to Friday's video for a vlog from Thanksgiving. To see my outfit and my nails, because my nails aren't done. And my makeup and all that good stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, bye.